always around me. But this was our interaction. What are you doing? I was so freaked out when I turned around and saw him literally under me. So Good day, my name is Kitty and I'm a villain life coach. If you don't know me, I am kind of known for traumatizing the men who bother me. I got tagged my Beetlejuice cryptid quota in this one, so it's showtime. Go watch OP's video for all of the context as always, but TLDR here, she's on a self-date enjoying the bookstore and a man keeps kneeling down behind her and in the camera she catches him just like sniffing her? And then he proceeds to do the same thing with another girl that you can see in the video where he again goes down pretending to like be looking low for something and then again when she calls him out on it tying a shoe and he's just like all up in their business and also there are notable comments mentioning how people have recognized him from this video like oh he did this to me too or i've seen him do this kind of thing before now, OP touched on this a little bit in her follow-up video, and this is kind of the reason I was pausing on this one, because a lot of times when you see these videos, a lot of comments are saying, like, oh, I would have kicked him, and, like, yes, some people could have absolutely donkey cooked right in the schnoz, or otherwise, you know, if you had a fart, you know, just brewing. However, this is the thing, especially in a situation like this. The freeze response is incredibly common and absolutely valid. He was sniffing her! from below most people are gonna freeze up a little bit there so again we never try and go in and say you should do this you should have done that what she did was absolutely the correct response she did call him out on it which takes a lot of ovary to do because that's still a very scary what if he escalates etc given his mannerisms and these types of kind of peeping tommy or otherwise trying to like be discreetly they don't do well when they're called out in a good way like they're unlikely to escalate to anger they're most likely to panic and like squirrel away and that's very likely why she goes up to the front tells you know begins to uh tell on him she then immediately notes how he's leaving he knew what she was doing and he wanted a boogie those types are decent to confront if you have it in you but again most people don't and i'm very proud of op for what she did do and OP even says, you know, she there's a bit of her that wishes she could have done more or she could have done something else in the moment. But I just want you to understand, you looking at him and catching him, you can hear the fear in his voice at what you did. You calling him out spooked the ever-loving crap out of him. And you should feel proud about that. It is natural to have that little kicking of like, I should have done something else. I wish I could have just yelled at him, sworn at him, done something else, really made him regret it. But even that little bit of what are you doing spooked him, spooked him good. Proud of you. These types of predatory men are specifically and explicitly hoping for the freeze response to kick in where they are noticed, but the person is not going to say or do anything because they are too afraid to, afraid of escalation, afraid otherwise. They're hoping to get the second guessing response of somebody may notice them, but is going to talk themselves and kind of gaslight themselves out of thinking it's anything real. Like maybe he was just tying his shoe or oh, maybe he's just, you know, this is weird. He's really close, but maybe he really is just looking at something and I'm, I'm paranoid or they're hoping that you just don't notice at all. Those three, they do not want the attention. Even that little bit of what are you doing? That being said, the OP does mention that this was at a Barnes and Noble in Burbank, California. So if anybody happens to know a name, a name is a powerful thing to have. So again, a round of applause to OP. If you happen to be in Burbank, California and you are aware of this person's presence, you see them, see them doing this behavior again, Hey, you! I recognize you from those TikToks about you smelling women's legs. I didn't think I could see you in person. Wow, look at you go. Devastating. You don't have to escalate from there. Just pointing it out for what it is. He will absolutely lose his mind trying to deny it. Well, I know, it's not me. Well, why are you sniffing someone's legs? Why were you doing it, buddy? Stay safe out there. Okay, thanks. Bye.